Good morning, my name is Jordan and uh, I'm working on the Phytech uh, Fuel Command Center. Um, I burned up my uh, high pressure fuel pump. So the job today was to replace this with, a, with the replacement pump that Phytech sent. Uh, the tools that you're going to need are a hammer, um, a piece of wood, a uh, wooden dowel would probably have been better, but uh, this is what I had on hand. Um, a pair of pines, a um, Phillips screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, a 5 16 wrench, and uh, a buddy to hold the camera. So basically what you're going to want to do to get the top unscrewed is to, and this is all together, we'll set kind of like this, it'll be screwed in here, but what you want to do is put it on its side like this and then take the end of your dowel and slot it into one of these um, grooves and uh, make sure you use something soft like wood uh, and not something hard like a flathead screwdriver. Um, anyway, you put it in there, give it a couple of whacks and then just roll it around. Hit it a couple more times and eventually it'll start to get loose and then you can grab it and unscrew it and pull it out. So that'll get you to this part which I've already gotten everything more or less installed, but um, <clears throat> you'll have to put this filter onto the bottom of your new fuel pump. This strap actually goes back around and holds the fuel pump to this little stand here. You'll have to cut this, uh, this hose that they give you. Right? And to do that, I use the Kleins. Um, obviously, you'll need a uh, flathead for these uh, to get them tight. The other thing that you need is a Phillips head, and the Phillips head you'll use on these two screws. Now these screws actually go all the way through the top plate, and that's where you will attach the uh, wiring um, that came with your Phytech uh, to give you so to give you power uh, for your fuel pump. All right, so we're gonna button this up and then um, see what it's like when we go to prime it. All right, so I forgot to mention that the 5 16 wrench actually comes in really handy for these little nuts here. And that's actually how you're going to get the, um, that screw out of the bottom. You have to make sure to take the nuts all the way off the top uh, before you um, really try and unscrew the nuts or the bolts from the bottom. So once you get your Phytech your Fuel Command Center reinstalled and put back together and everything, you have all your lines run, uh, you're ready to prime it. Um, now what you need to do is make sure that this orange wire is, um, is not attached here. And uh, then what you'll do is you'll crank it over um, for a few seconds and uh, then stop and let it sit for about 30 seconds just to kind of cool everything off. And then uh, repeat that procedure a couple more times so your mechanical fuel pump is actually filling this fuel command center. And uh, once you get it um, primed, then what you'll do is reattach the um, orange wire, get that all tightened down nice and tight, and then uh, crank it over a few times. Once it, uh, it primes itself and um, actually gets some fuel pressure going up to the throttle body, it should kick right over.